Uh, let's start off with uh, going down the line, everyone's name and the instrument that you play for the band. I'm Joe Dunkel, I'm a singer. Okay. Jill Carmichael Dunkel, um, singer, play a little guitar and um, some percussion. Excellent. Jeff Spencer, um, harmonica, guitar, singer. And Gary Markaski. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything. Everything. The man. <laughs> I wear just, a lot of hats. Just the name for the band. Just <laughs> yeah. Gary Markaski Project. Yeah. I'm Joe Fabian, bass guitar. Okay. And, and and sing. Excuse me, and we all sing, sing so you have to sing. Everyone sings. Everyone yes. sings. Yes, it's, yes, it's, yes, we great. do. All right, now let's start about um, the roots of the band. How did you guys form? What, what was that all about? Why, why did you guys decide to get together and start playing? Was it just kind of guys were jamming one day and you decided, hey, there, there's a band here, or did you start looking for different people to recruit? Um, what really had happened is um, I was working with uh, a few other musicians uh, called Dream Maker for a while, and uh, we sort of dispersed. And I decided, well, that's it. I'm not going to be in a band. I'm going to start my own thing, and we're going to just do it from scratch, and uh, that's what had happened. And uh, I started it with... Um, uh, Jeffrey Berger, who was the drummer, okay, him, okay, Joe Fabian on bass, okay, and Joe Carmichael on vocals and guitar, and tambourine also, not to forget. <laughs> tambourine, all right. <laughs> and that's how it started, it's a three-piece band with a, with a lead singer. And then uh, subsequently, her husband, Joe Dunkel, <laughs> <laughs> started scatting around on the microphone with us. I just happened to be in the garage. Just one day you kind of pick it <laughs> up. <laughs> in the garage. So what, the basement, yeah. Yeah, the basement. And, and he started singing the songs, and, and my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> and He's a big kind of fan of Michael Stanley's <laughs> band. That is it, and he, he can sing it to death. That's yes, great. he does. That's where it came. And he does. He got two singers instead of one. Yeah, so. <laughs> there right. we go. Exactly. Two for one deal right um, there. I, I couldn't pass it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in the meantime, while we st started out playing that, there was this guy from uh, Vienna, I think of it as Vienna. He comes bouncing around, s sneaking in with his harmonica, you know, starting to play, just scatting around a little bit. And then one day, <laughs> led to the next, and the next, and the next, and the next thing I know, he was at every gig, and we were playing every song, and he was mixing and doing the sound with us and everything. And then he, he started <laughs> singing and playing this guitar with us on the side. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, Jeffrey Spencer. A lot Spencer. of tricks up there his sleeve. Jeffrey Spencer. <laughs> but for, for the longest time, we were like, does anybody know this guy's name? <laughs> yeah. Who is he? Where did this come guy, from? Right. Spence, is that first, last, whatever? <laughs> he had a lot of as tricks As long as he's there, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll take him. It was beautiful. Yeah. Just beautiful. I squeeze. We had, we had right? He just we did. <laughs> so it just kind of fell together for you guys. That's, oh, yeah. yeah. That's and here magical. it is. And here it is. And because to see you guys on stage, it's like you, you've been playing for years. H how long ago did the band start? How about uh, just over a year. Really? Because yeah. yeah. you guys yeah. have it like your family. It almost seems. I mean, y you really have that connective. We've quality. all kind of met along the way <laughs> 30 years ago. We okay, so you've been yeah. traveling down yeah. the road together. Yeah. Yeah. We were all in our own bands all all those yeah. years, but you knew and respected other musicians, right? Yeah. And, and right. I knew right. we had the same manager at one point and so forth, and mm. of course you know who this man is. And, you know, it's just, it just kind of fell mm -hmm. together because, you know, we've been doing it for so long, and it's it really is a nice, happy family. <laughs> yeah. I met Gary eight years prior to last March, mm -hmm. this past March. Yeah, and, then uh, and we briefly got to play a couple songs, but, you know, I walked in and uh, he says, uh, it's about time you showed up. <laughs> you know, I had no idea he was playing. I keep looking at my watch. When's Spencer getting in? <laughs> it's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, it was and uh, Danny Bernard, our current drummer, he, uh, he came on board four, five, four months, or five ago months ago right. when Jeff Berger left. So... He's another old friend of ours. He, he used right? to play Fact. with him, didn't you? Oh, he did. Yes. Uh, they have a lot of listen, originals. Dan was the with three us. of them did. Dan yeah. was with me initially in the, the beginning of um, uh, Dream Maker when we first started. And him and, and I had written a lot of songs together. And then we brought Joe in. And he started tracking with us down my basement. We were just recording. We weren't really playing out much mm -hmm. at all. We were just recording. And we did it, it religiously. Mm -hmm. uh, and it came a lot of great stuff came out of it. And we're still working on it right now. Yeah. Incorporating uh, into what we have. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you guys stick mainly to Youngstown? Because I've seen you twice in Youngstown. 
We, we got you up to Edinburgh today, but is, are you just kind of no, reaching? No, we're, we're bouncing around. We're, we're down in West Virginia. We're down in uh, we're in Canton. Okay, we're in Alliance. Uh, Akron. Akron. Uh, so kind of like the heartland, I guess. Yeah, you could yeah, call just it. this whole circle. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, Tri-state. Yeah, tri-state. Tri yeah, call East Palestine, uh, Chippewa, down in that area. You know. Buffalo, Conneaut, Conneaut, yeah, Conneaut, 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 yeah, Conneaut, yeah. <laughs> uh, ball busters. Speaking of ball busters, <laughs> Ronnie, Jimmy, how are you? And cousin Mike. <laughs> That's a home away that. from home. Is that what you mean? Yeah, <laughs> that that was the the place where this whole thing uh, emanated from. It okay. really, it really, it really was. It's no, a uh, small uh, little place on the west side of Youngstown. It's just cool as the other side of the pillow. Mm -hmm. And we have a ball there. <laughs> Joe's famous saying, we'll be playing a ball busters till the end of time. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is right, Mr. Outside, Fencer. Outside, though, in the summertime, it's so nice. And we play there earlier. And so you get a different crowd when you're playing, like, mm -hmm. you know, 7 to 11 instead of, you know, 10 to 2 or 9 to 1 or whatever. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nice. It's very, and there, that's our home, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We go in there and we... Uh, Initiate all the stuff, the new stuff that we do there, right there, because it's we work it's, it all out there, yeah, right there. So really it's kind of like you're and they're very uh, acceptive of whatever we want to. They do. can't wait. Just kind of work all the tweaks out there, yeah. and they love it anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. they can't wait for the. Well, new that's great because then you get to see you know the give and take. Well, okay, what that's works right. best here? Then you go somewhere else and you hit home runs. Like, well, yeah, we tried everything out. <laughs> <early."> <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. always get the credit for the home spot. You're right. Yeah, they don't yeah. see all the trial and error periods. <laughs> but um, who are some influences for for your style of music for the band? I, I noticed a little Eric Clapton in you guys, and you guys covered Jimi Hendrix. Who else do you kind of icon? Jeff Beck. Okay, Jeff Beck. Yeah, uh, and the women singers, Jill. Who do you? I Lisa don't. I don't know. I just others. tried to. More I the like men singers. Huh? I don't know. I would. I would have said Heart a long time ago, but I don't do any of that now. But um, I just try to sing anything. Yeah, but your influences. The, the well, they. Yeah. So Heart. Uh, yeah. Wilson and sisters Nancy for sure, yeah. And uh, I don't, I'm, in, I'm into jazz a lot, so that's okay. really weird. Very cool. But, um, yeah. Now, on a personal level, what does music mean for everyone here? Because uh, you guys have done what about a hundred, over a hundred shows this year so far, correct? So it's a couple of shows Probably. a week. 140? 140. 140 this shows. Year, that's, we're like doing 13, 16 a month. Wow. So th there's a passion there for music. Uh, w what's music mean for everyone here on a personal level? What do you enjoy and take away whenever you're, you play music what comes to mind it's, it's a it's a universal language it it jumps into your heart and your soul and if you're lucky enough to play with uh, good musicians great musicians you continue to hone your craft and it, it, it comes out in your heart and soul. It, it truly does. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what it does for me. I love my job. <laughs> I love it. That's good because then you never get tired of it. And you, you always, you never lose that passion and creativity for what you do. And as a result, everyone benefits. These guys have heard me quote this uh, many times, but I read Keith Richards' book okay. recently. <laughs> And one thing that stuck in my head was they asked him, when, when would you want to retire? And Keith is like 67, 68 now. Looks 90. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he said, uh, never. Isn't that the other way? He said, I'll never retire because I never want to quit learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's, that's can beautiful. I speak for my yeah. friends? That's it. You sure. know. That's wow. where it's at. Yeah. That's where it's at. Every night we play, it's, uh, it's like painting a new canvas. Uh, we never know where it's going to go, and it makes it special. It makes it really special. Wow. Yeah. Every night it makes it special mm -hmm. because, uh, wow, we tried that. Man, that, that sounded tight. You know, and you, you, you get excited about it. You can take that home with you and be excited to go to the next one. And then that gives you energy for your next show. Sure. You're like, I want to redo it again and sure. make it even better. And it's just, it's never, mm -hmm. never ending. You're same always climbing up. Same thing in any media, mm -hmm. any media. If, if you see a successful product, you just, you want to keep going. Mm -hmm. You want to make it as good as you can make it. Each night seems to grow on and on. Every night, Dan jumps off the drums. Dan Bernard, our drummer. God, we played this tonight great. Because, man, I thought last night was great. 
tonight we really nailed it. But we look around <laughs> at each other and we see big smiles on our faces yeah. and we know we're doing what we want to do. But being a singer, okay, it's like, and I know that, you know, nowhere near, you know, the people, <laughs> all the singing with the star, Don't whatever, sell doing all that. Short. But all I'm saying is what I, what the question is, is I like to try to get people right in my hand mm -hmm. and grab them and make them feel something from me, make them listen to the words because sometimes I do try to pick some songs that actually have a meaning instead of like five courses of the same thing. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at a lot of the time. I'm working on trying to feel them and make them feel me, get them in the palm of my hand. Mm -hmm. And as a singer, that's, that's what I try to do. But, uh, and create that connection that I was talking earlier with Gary about with the audience. Oh, yes, exactly. And that's just maybe a different way to put it. But, uh, you know, when people sit there and say, you gave me goosebumps on that song, I go, might not have sang it the greatest tonight, but they liked it and they got the and goosebumps. And that's what matters. There it goes. You know, so you're always striving for that. It's mm -hmm. never, it never gets old. Have you been coaching Joe? <laughs> 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 He's scared. Yeah, it's great to look out there and see people singing right along with you word for word it's it's a good feeling yeah because you, you yeah. know that they're they're right there with you and they're, they're for mm -hmm. you and yeah, that, yeah. and that's it's awesome. so cool when joe's out there doing that white lands on the highway and stuff that they're singing right with them and somewhere in the night yeah even singing, when, so we, so while good. we were setting up uh, somewhere in the night right here that was that was amazing just right on the Thank spot you. you got right into the zone and it was really yeah. beautiful to watch that thank you for that thanks and uh, i want to ask you guys about classic rock because you guys do a lot of classic rock music and that genre, for whatever reason, people can connect with that, even my generation, because when we do ETV, I'll bring in a classic rock CD mix that I have, and I have Journey and different people on there, and I'll play that. And the other students in there, they may not know the bands, but they know the words. And they'll be in there singing along, and I'll blow the speakers out in there almost, playing the music. And you, you, everyone gets up and dancing and whatnot, even our news director, she has videos on YouTube. You don't, you don't want to watch them, but they're, oh, it, it's yes. funny. <laughs> But my he point was. is, the names of the bands and the names of the uh, solo artists may pass away. They may fade from the spotlight, but the music lives on and the lyrics live on. Why do you guys think that is for classic rock as a genre? Why does the music live on 10, 20, 30, 40 years past when it was a number one hit? Just look at uh, uh, the songs with the message. Like, for instance, let's, let's talk about it. Bob Dylan, The Beatles, John Lennon, McCartney, the songs they wrote. The Stones, okay, Richards, and, and um, they just, uh, their songs had meaning. It wasn't that they were all the greatest players, or the greatest singers, but I don't know about the Beatles, they were one of the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney had started to be, anyway, and Lennon. But, um, it was that awakening period. Yeah, geez, and yeah. they instilled this upon us guys. You know, they were just like a little bit, maybe five, six, seven years older than us, and but we were all listening to that back in 75, I mean 65, 75, right in there, that whole area. And they sort of sent the message to us that you have to, when you sing a song, you, you have to tell a story and then deliver it and, and give it the magic that it calls for all the time, you know, so. I think good music is just timeless. If it's good, going to hang around It'll forever. Last forever. It'll last forever. If it, if it's why, great, that's why maybe people even still longer. listen to oh, Hendrix well, and love it. Like yeah, the oh, yeah. first time. Yeah. Like the first there's, time. There's only so many, you know, chords and so many, you know, melodic lines or whatever yeah. you have. But if you can still do the same thing but make it sound your own, or not the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody, it, 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 it repeats itself in a different way if, if you're that original and if you're that heart spoken to it instead of, you know, all sounding the same. Mm -hmm. It's like Spencer says, the way you put it on the canvas. Yes, yes. Yeah. Paint a different picture every time. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah. And we're all creative, so. Yeah. I mean, I mean like, what are you going <laughs> to yeah. say? What are you going to say about <laughs> yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, uh, can't always get Yesterday is over. What about blowing tomorrow? in the wind. Yeah. Bob Dylan blowing in the wind. I mean, what? A, just. A... Now, so, 
as a band, when do you guys expect to have, because I know you're working on your debut album, when can we expect to see that out for fans? Probably as soon as we get time. <laughs> <laughs> I, we gotta stop playing as much. We, every yeah. time, minute much that interviews. we get off, we wanna get in the, we're in the studio right now. We're, we're, we're making our CD. In fact, I, I got the recorder out there. We could probably plug it in. Yeah, run, do a little run, 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 work run here. Some of this. Yeah, right. I have Gary it. lives right around the corner from us, so he'll <laughs> call me up. Come on, Joe, come on over and just do, do some down a track. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it could be so like four in the morning. That's sometimes when the best uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. ideas come to you, right? Yeah, in the middle yeah. of the night, you just, you oh, know, yeah. up and it's like, boom, right there, and you gotta work on it. And we do that, and yeah. it's crazy, but we, you know, and they are Joe, if they can't make it, Joe, what are you doing? You up, come on, come on. <laughs> One thing that's hard is, and, and these, these guys have day jobs, okay? I'm self-employed, but I still work five days a week, too, besides doing with the band, but these guys work, you know, the nine to five, or the, I mean, they're hardworking people. And then when we're trying to play three, four, five nights a week, and everything. Gets crazy. Then we have to put that original stuff and that stuff on the side for a little while. But we always have it thinking, we always have ideas, and we're always talking to each other, and, yeah. and, 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 we, and we're, we're, we're still working at it, even if we don't have as much time as we'd like to. I think that's... Yeah, we'll try to introduce it on the gigs. <coughs> you know, just we'll just... Yeah, try it out. That's what we're like. Try it where it's going and see what... Ball busters. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't there. tell anybody that it's your song. Just see there. how they go over. Yeah. Yeah. See how yeah. it goes over, maybe. Yeah. You, you know, guys like that? Them. Okay, well, maybe that can get on the, on the cut. Yeah. Realistically, hopefully in the next four to six months. Okay. So hopefully very in excited spring. about that. In the just, spring, we'd like to. Yeah. In the spring? Yeah. All right. But right now, we're going to have you guys do an unplug session, and we're very excited about that. So thank you again for coming up here to Edinburgh today. We appreciate it. And, uh, Let's let's start the music. Let's rock and roll. Thank you. Chris. Nice round. Thank, Thank you, Chris. Let's bow. Thank you so much. <laughs>